Spinoff Shy delivers the godly out of temptation. No matter what situation may occur, the Lord is so cold, man, where he get his men out of trouble, man. Whenever trouble arises or come against his men, the Lord delivers them out of that situation. Man, the Lord is so cold, man. Man. <laughs> well, people don't have, they don't have to understand it, man. Like I was just saying this the other day, uh, how much trouble I, I was supposed to get into, but didn't, man. That was the Lord getting me out of that, man. That's right. I, I can't deliver myself from shit, from nothing. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I'm for that word, but. You're right. I can't deliver myself from nothing, man. Right. It's all the will of your help. I shouldn't have a shot, man. Right. And he know he gonna look out for his men that really, sincerely, are, are, are trying to serve him, man. Right. Right. Just thinking, just thinking about how cold the Lord is, man. I'm thinking back to the past and the present, man. The situation, you know. I mean, just all type of situation with people. Satan try to send demons to attack us. Personal attacks, even on a job, to where hell the Lord delivers us about those situations. Man, I'm, I'm just gonna say that one time I was in a world, man, and I, I had a pistol on me, man, and I was walking down the street. And for some reason, my, I said, man, I'm gonna go get this pistol to my boy. I don't even know, it's my pistol, I don't know why I did it, but I went and gave it to Bruce. I went to gave it to Bruce, one of my boys named Bruce, so I went and gave it to him. Went back outside, as soon as I came outside, the police jumped out on me and patted me down. See? I froze like if they would have caught me with their gun, I did a year off top. And, and where I was from, a uh, gun charge a year off top, man. Right. But they, I, I, I didn't even get a half block down the street, they jumped out on me and patted me down looking for a weapon. Right. Lord, that, was, that was the Lord, man. Man. Yeah. He put that on my mind to go get it, that gun to somebody else, man. That that just just a little minor scale thing that happened, man. Man, I can tell you so much, but still, man, the Lord is wonderful. He's so cold, man. He look out like the scripture just said. He looks out for the piss of this God, the man that's living uh, living for him, man. They said the Lord know how to deliver the godly out of temptation and to reserve the just until the day of judgment to be punished. So to reserve the who? The unjust. See? Until the day of what? Judgment. To be punished. All you mockers and scoffers, you two-thirds, just like bro said, we all got to give an account in that day, man, whether good or bad. The Lord is reserving you for that day of judgment, like you said earlier, for Mr. Fool, man. See, y'all don't understand how deep this is, man. You think you just going about your daily life, you think you're calling out wicked men who's out here doing the work, who's putting their best foot forward for your how about shooting out with shot. You think you're doing yourself a, a, a justice, a service, coming against men, but the Lord has put you in a trick bag to where you feel like you're justified because nothing has happened. Like I tell you in Ecclesiastes, you feel like ain't nothing happened to you that you justify not knowing that the Lord, the Lord is setting you up to destroy you in that day of judgment, man. That day of judgment could come tomorrow. You see what I'm saying? The Lord said, what, he gonna come like a thief in the night. So all you people out here that, 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 that's, that's, that's mocking the Lord, that's mocking his word, the Lord is reserving you for what? Destruction, man. That's why a lot of y'all think that the Lord is with you because ain't nothing happened to you. That's part of the delusion, man. To where you get so comfortable in, in your sin, the Lord set you up to where you won't even repent. That's a trick bag, man. That, that's a trick bag. You see what I'm saying? And that's beautiful how the Lord works, man. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the main point is down in verse uh, 12, but uh, this, is, this is some meat. It's verse 10. But chief with them that walk after the flesh and the lust of uncleanliness and despise government, presumptuous are they, self-willed. Now it said, them that walk after the flesh, remember the brother read in Corinthians about the natural man, that's that flesh. Those that walk out to the flesh, that's that natural man. You're being carnal. That's why you can't receive the things of the spirit. 
it says, flesh in the lust of uncleanliness <laughs> and despise government. Is that not what you're doing? A lot of y'all despise the government, meaning the ruling body that you have by Shim Yahushua set up. Man, the Lord is so cold, man. And it says, presumptuous are they. Aren't y'all not presumptuous? You're calling what? The apostles and us younger brothers, cult members, uh, uh, under mind control, saying that we're liars and robbers and thieves. See what I'm saying? It says, self-will, you're following after your own lust, the desires of your heart. They are not afraid to speak evil of dignity, meaning what? You don't fear you how much you never shot. Because if you did, you wouldn't speak evil of the men that you set up to rule Israel, man. You have no fear. That means you don't fear how about Shem Yahushua because it goes deeper than not respecting or not referring the dignities. It goes back to not, respect, not fearing the Lord because he's the one to set them up. Just like the scripture says, that when they reject you, they're not rejecting you, they reject him that sent you, which is who? How about Shem Yahushua? See what I'm saying? Go ahead, bro. First, uh, yeah. Said, whereas angels which are greater in power and might bring not really accusations against them before the Lord. But these as natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed speak evil of the things that they understand not and shall utterly perish in their own corruption. See, it says made to be taken and destroyed. The Lord has already set you up to be made and destroyed. But like the brother said, you're fulfilling your lot. Why? Because you are predestined to do this. See what I'm saying? That's why we have to be thankful to you how about Shimmy Al Pachai that he didn't give us over to that to the left hand side. To be made to be destroyed, man. You see what I'm saying? It says, speak evil of the things that they understand not. Meaning what? The Lord has blinded them. That's why they don't understand the breakdowns, man. When we go into spiritual conversations, we understand. You see what I'm saying? But when other people come around and listen, they don't, they don't understand. That's why they get upset at certain doctrines and breakdowns of the Bible. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then they call it, what, crazy men? These guys out there with dresses on, ignore them. They don't know what they're talking about. But yeah, we break down the Bible and tell you the truth according to the Bible. You see what I'm saying? Why? Because they don't understand what's going on. A lot of people, see that's the thing with people, a lot of people fear the unknown. So they speak crazy or evil about things that they're afraid of or don't understand. Instead of asking questions, you rather talk BS about what's going on. Instead of inquiring and getting better on it. I want to speak to Ecclesiastes to hear the conclusion of the matter. See what I'm saying? Because why? Every time you make an accusation, Hey, you're bringing damnation upon yourself. You make an ass out of yourself. Because you're, you're jumping to conclusions. See what I'm saying? You're not asking this person why you don't have no shoelaces. And you just, I don't know, oh, he's poor. He can't afford no shoelaces. His feet stink. See what I'm saying? Not asking him why you don't have shoelaces. It could be he, he's washing them. They're in a the washing machine. See what I'm saying? Now you done started a rumor over some BS that you had no understanding of. Same way in this word, man. Right. You don't understand the breakdown, so you winging and make up your own breakdown, thinking you flowing through the spirit. Now you leading people astray. Then when people start rebuking you and getting on you, then you want to call them wicked. Well, you're the one being wicked. See what I'm saying? Hey, you, you failed your test, man. When most I sent that test to you, you, you failed it, man. But sometimes we all get in our head, we think we know what we're talking about, man. Yep. That don't have problems to every man in Israel right now. That's, that's, we all get, we think we get a breakdown, then we hear a real breakdown, be like, damn, I'm glad I ain't come out with that, or say what I wanted to on that, man. That's right. That's why you never go on your own accord, man. You always seek, you know, guidance and help, man. Is this right? Make sure you're in the spirit, man. And why we just read that scripture proverb, uh, listen, matter of fact, I get it again. I get it again, Proverbs 20. What you got? What you got? 
It said, uh, matter of fact, I'm going to get the one in Proverbs 1. Proverbs 3 and 5. It said, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart <laughs> and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. Yeah, that's what I was looking for earlier. Yeah, that's what I was looking for too, bro. I was looking for earlier. Oh, man, that's the one I really wanted at first, man. You see what I'm saying? The scripture said what? Lean not into thy own understanding and acknowledge him in all his ways and all thy ways and he shall direct thy path. How is he going to direct your path? Because you're coming to him for help. You're leaning upon him, not your own understanding. See what I'm saying? That's how a lot of y'all make fools out of yourself like bro was saying. I have, I'm, I'm, I'm even guilty of that. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the past thinking I done got this deep breakdown and I done call myself getting precepts in there. Like, woo! Man, this is cold. All right. Man. Then when you hit a real breakdown, you be like, I'm glad. I, I just dropped my oh, head. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm I just, I just dropped my head. Like, wow, Lord. You know? That's why you got to pray that you stay in the spirit, too. That's right, man. man. What, what's that? Uh, Psalm 51 11, remove not your Holy Spirit from me, man. Yep. You got to pray that daily, man. Right. Because you don't want to get out of the spirit. Because once you get out of the spirit, man, then you, you pretty much you messed up, man. Right. Satan can have free reign on you, That's man. Right, man. So you got to make sure you stay in the spirit, man. That's why uh, uh, I was glad when I first, you know, when I first was a real new in the camp. Bro was like, you got to stay in the spirit. He kept that stay in the spirit. I didn't even really realize what that meant at first. Stay in the spirit. I didn't. I didn't. I kept trying to look it up. I'm just really found out about about a year ago what staying in the spirit really meant, man. Right. I mean, man. stay in these scriptures, man. Right. I was thinking it was some kind of preordained force coming from from the heavens, man. Right. Right. That that was just dropping on me. No, that means stay in these scriptures, man. So you can learn. That's right. how you stay in the spirit, man. Right. They said, "What is they say? Study to show thyself approved." A workman need not be greed of shame, rightly, rightly right. yep. divided the word of truth, man. Right. You gotta rightly divide these scripts, man. And that right. comes with studying and standing in the spirit and in these scripts, man. Right. Asking for help. Don't right. just go out there on your own accord. Ask for help, man. Don't be so proud when you think you ain't got everybody need help. Man. Right. We all don't know the whole breakdown of these scriptures, man. Right. That's why we go to the uh, apostles and elders or other brothers that have been in the truth for, for years and years. Right, man. Well, what did King David say? He shall meditate upon thy precepts. Huh. That's what we do. We meditate upon thy precepts, meaning this word, like the brother said, man. For the simple fact of, even if you don't have your, your sword with you, even when there's a heated situation, the scripture pop in your head, That's man. Right, man. That's right. Scripture popping, even though you may get carnal at that moment, see what I'm saying? Somehow or another, the Lord will always put that spirit upon you where you remember scripture to help you out in your situation. Right. You see what I'm saying? I can testify to that, man. I just went through that on the job. See what I'm saying? A person tried to bring a personal attack. I almost got carnal. The brother had to step in and, and the scripture popped in my head. And I immediately sent up curses. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's hard out here in this truth, man. That's judgment of the Lord, man. Somebody's hurt. That's judgment of the Lord, man. Call the law, you have about shit me out of shot. See what I'm saying? You never know. They may have looked out the window and said something about us, man. Now they hurt. That's judgment of the Lord, man. That's a beautiful thing, man. That's right. But like bro was saying, by standing in the spirit, we all got to stay in the spirit. There's no one exempt from staying in the spirit, man. You see what I'm saying? Say my words are spirit. What words are spirit? They are spirit and they are life. I think that's a John something. All right. While you do that, I'm going to read this other scripture. This is a second Peter chapter uh, 3 
verse 16. Yeah, 3 and 16. It says, and as also in all his epistles, meaning these letters that Paul wrote to the churches, as also in, his, in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things in which are some things hard to be understood. Why? Because the Lord is not dealing with you. That's why it's hard to be understood. It says, which they that are unlearned and, un and unstable rest, mean wrestle with the word, as they do also the other scriptures unto their own destruction. See what I'm saying? It says, unto their own destruction. They wrestle with these scriptures unto their own destruction. Why? Because they don't understand. They're not trying to get no understanding. Right. They're trying to lead to their own understanding. See what I'm saying? They're thinking that they're correct and they're right. That they, they can't nobody correct them and what they even study or read. Because why? The how about Shimei was shot is giving them over to their strong delusion, man, to where they believe a lot. You see what I'm saying? Man, that's how cold the Lord is.